Hello and welcome to another video from the Steve Adventure Academy. Today we're looking at pens. So, I, one of our channel subscribers and a great friend, Nigel, was kind enough to gift us a what was a copper toned, uh, clearly made of brass pen from Sipleave. And so we're going to go through the pen very quickly because uh, it's kind of an initial first look, although I, you can clearly see that I've had it out of the box. This is the refill, and we've made what I would refer to the Fisher Space Pen Upgrade. And so, let's just dive right in. So the packaging is pretty simple, slip box. It comes with this uh, pocket sleeve that's quite nice. It's uh, made of that plastic with the, um, what would you call, velour, faux velour on the outside. The pen itself is a straight shaft. We'll see a ventilation hole on the tail of the pen and the cap is threaded on. In the event that your cap develops uh, some stick because of the very fine machined threads, uh, the steps you might take with that is to uh, at the local superstores, they offer a free, uh, a free, the sticks to eat sushi with are called chopsticks. There we go. Reconstructive nature of memory strikes again. So you can use the rectangular end to thread into the cap, and that'll break up some of the uh, the small burrs that might be in the thread, and that allows the cap to thread on very, very smoothly. This pen's got a great weight. It feels fantastic in the hand. Uh, the diameter of the bezel is quite well dialed in, and it flows very nicely. The original ink cartridge, uh, referred to as the G5, uh, you won't find that at Staples. I definitely checked. Uh, but the refill is very smooth. It comes with a fine tip and it does a great job. I've added some electrical tape because I have this fascination with things, having things fit well and so it slid into the barrel of the pen very nicely. There was no issue. I just like to fix things that are broken. I did have some curiosity. Oh, several of my uh, friends and channel contributors had, uh, had mentioned that the Fisher Space Pen was quite good, but I had stayed away from it because they only come in medium. I'm generally a fine or an extra fine tip person insofar as I generally write so quickly that uh, my hand hard, has a hard time keeping up with my brain and so that makes it tricky. One thing I would note is that if I jump over here and grab a pad, we take this with just a fine tip or 0 .05, 0 0.05, 0 0.5, fine, that's an M, I know, a little dyslexia is always fun as well. And this is supposed to be a 0 0.7 medium. Now if we look at those together, I'll hold that for a moment. Hold it very close. You'll notice that the nib on the 0.5 medium Fisher Space Pen is producing a line that is all but identical to the 0.5 fine that we're normally used to. And just for comparison's sake, here's my other favorite pen. This one is a 0.5 fine by Cross. And so, Fisher Space Pen, not really a medium, much more of a fine. So how do we make this work? Well, the tip threads into the body, as you can see. And what we had was the tip of the Fisher Space Pen has got a series of little ripples and bumps because of the way it's manufactured and then crimped. And so we clamped this in a drill. The drill caused the pen to spin very quickly and then we ran it up and down very gently on a 380 grit diamond sharpening stone until we had reduced the diameter at the tip so that it fits into the niblet. The other thing that comes with your Fisher Space Pen is the click back for your clicky style pens. So normally the Fisher Space Pen refill would fit in here and the other gizmo for the clicky bit would stand proudly. We flipped that around because these refills were different lengths. So from the tip, the length of the refill, the refill actually stops right here. And so we just measured how long the initial, this, uh, this part of the refill sticking out of the body of the pen was. It's two, uh, two centimeters, 20 millimeters. And then we measured this one cut off a little bit of the plastic so that it would be the same distance. I taped it on again. You don't need to, but I did because 
I'll have this thing where things need to fit securely, even if it makes no earthly difference. And now you've got a Fisher Space Pen mod for your Sipliv uh, brass pen. Uh, one other thing I would say about the Amazon pens, I'm not sure this one came from Amazon, it was a gift, but when I look at the Amazon, uh, Amazon.ca, these pens are available there. They are a very budget-minded and a beautiful piece, considering how little uh, these are sold for, the quality is very high. Now they're very simple, you do need to be careful about the uh, fine threads, but I would say this is a spectacular gift uh, that is not going to murder your wallet. And yes, I doubled the price of the pen by paying $12 for the Fisher Space Pen Refill, but I had never hadn't had availed myself of the chance to try one. And so far it is very smooth. It's not a big wide line. It's really not a 0.7 line at all. It writes very well. It's not quite as pretty as the finer tip, but who cares? At this point, it's really about being pretty in this condition. It's beautiful in this condition and it writes well. So in every case, we hope that you'll find this video helpful. The, uh, incidentally, these refills are sold at Staples in Canada, Sands Electrical Tape, uh, $2, two refills for just under $4. And so the refills are very inexpensive to replace. Uh, but Space Pen, how can you not enjoy a Space Pen upgrade? Well, thanks so much for being a part of the uh, community here on our channel at Steve Adventure. And if you're looking to follow us on Instagram, you can follow us right here at, at Survival Instructor. That's our Instagram handle. And of course, at Facebook, we are Steve Adventure. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you'll find it as helpful as I found it fun to do. Stay sharp.